Hey guys, it's Queen BRC back with another installation video. As you can hear, I'm no longer sick, which I'm so grateful for. So today we're gonna be installing my rear sway bar. In addition to the sway bar, I'm gonna be installing Super Pro rear end links. These are great because they're stiffer than the stock and they have polyurethane bushings and they give you that perfect compromise between race and street driving. I fall in love too easily. Some of the tools we're going to be using today are a 14mm wrench and socket, a 12mm wrench and socket, and a ratchet. So next we're going to go ahead and remove the end links, and for that we're going to be using the 14mm socket. Next, we're going to be removing the end link from the sway bar. So as you can see, the Super Pro um, end link is a lot more heavy duty than the factory. Um, we have the polyurethane bushings that are a lot bigger and this connector is a lot more heavy duty. So this is perfect for um, the stock sway bar, but for this race comp engineering sway bar, we need something more heavy duty to support that. And now to remove the other side. And just like before, we're going to go ahead and move the end link from the sway bar. Okay, and this is a hassle and a half to get it off. So. Our solution, hit it until it comes out. There we go. So next I'm gonna be removing the sway bar. And this is why we wear safety glasses. I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of debris just falling down right on my face. And we're almost there. So although it was so much fun to use my ratcheting wrench, um, I ain't got time for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my electric ratchet. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side and then we can remove the sway bar. So now to remove the sway bar, we're just going to go ahead and remove this piece right here and then do the same thing to the other side. Next we just need to maneuver the sway bar out from under the exhaust and then we are good to go. So as you can see, the Race Comp Engineering sway bar is a bit bigger than the factory sway bar. And then as I stated in the last video, um, it does have two adjustable positions, which is something that the factory does not have. So pretty cool. Let's get that in there. So the first thing we've got to do for these bushings is lube them up and then we're going to go ahead and put them right there, oops, sorry, and like right there, like so. We're going to do the same thing with our end links. It does already have some lube, but just to be safe, I'm going to put a little bit extra. So now that we have everything nice and lubed up, we're just going to put it all back together. So since everything is so factory fit, um, I had to go ahead and loosen up the strut bolt to get the end link to go in there a little bit easier. So 
So now I have the sway bar in and in position and it's ready to be bolted down. Okay, so we're gonna wait to torque everything down to the end, but I have it tightened right now um, to a good amount. Once we have the sway bars connected, we're gonna go ahead and place the locking nut right on there. Finger tight, and then we're gonna tighten it down. Like so. To do that, we're going to use our 5mm Allen key and our 17mm wrench. So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. And then once we've completed that, we are officially finished. And then my Super Pro M-Links and Race Comp Engineering Sway Bar will officially be installed. So the final step is to torque everything down under load or preload. And after that, we are officially done and ready to go. So I'm super excited because tomorrow is my first day um, going to the track and I'm going to be going to the Fontana Speedway. So stay tuned for that video. I'm super excited to see how the end links, the sway bar, and the springs are all going to work together. So I'll let you guys know what I think about that. Until next time, Queen BRZ out. Before I go, don't forget to like and subscribe um, to my YouTube channel for more on what I do next to my car. I fall in love too easily